Welcome to the Beyond Podcast. Great to be here. So today we're looking at a, a pretty interesting near-Earth event, Asteroid 2020 XR. Yeah, this one made a bit of a stir. It's a big one. We're talking, what, 1,200 feet across? About that, yeah. Like a football stadium, basically. Exactly. And it just swung by Earth recently. It did, December 4th, 2024. It's closest approach on record, actually. How close did it get? Uh, Let's see. 2.2 million kilometers, which sounds huge, but in space terms. It's relatively close, yeah. About maybe five times the distance to the moon, something like that. Right. And it's got that potentially hazardous label, which always catches your eye. Well, yeah. Anything that big combined with an orbit that could bring it close to Earth gets that classification. Doesn't mean danger this time, though. No, astronomers were pretty clear it was going to miss us safely this time around. They tracked it carefully. Absolutely. And this wasn't its first pass near us, was it? It came by back in the 70s. 1977, yeah. yeah. But it was much, much further away then. Like 16 million kilometers, I think. So the big difference compared to this recent flyby. So this pass was significantly closer. Definitely the closest we've seen it. You know, when they first spotted at 2020XR, there was some initial... Uh, uncertainty about 2028. Ah, I remember reading something about that. A potential impact risk. Well, more like a potential closer encounter. But further calculations, better orbital data. It turns out it'll actually be even further away in 2028. Further than this recent past. Yeah, much further. Around 18.2 million kilometers. So no worries there. That's good to know. Shows how quickly our understanding evolves as we get more data. It really does. Yeah. But looking way down the line, like, uh, 170 odd years from now? 2196. Yeah, around then. Projections suggest it might come quite close again then. Something to keep an eye on for future generations, I suppose. Definitely. And interestingly, right around the time of this big asteroids pass, something else happened. Oh, yeah, quite a coincidence. Just the day before 2020, XR's closest approach, December 3rd. A smaller one. Much smaller. Tiny, really. Maybe, you know, a few feet across. Like a bicycle tire. Okay. That one actually hit the atmosphere. Over Siberia, it was designated 2024 XA1. Wow. Did they see it coming? Just barely. Mm -hmm. Detected only hours before impact. It really underscores how much stuff is flying around up there, both big and, well, very small. It does. And agencies like NASA, ESA, they're constantly scanning for these near-Earth objects, right? Yes. Yeah, Especially a... the bigger ones. Absolutely. Anything over about 500 feet that comes within, say, 7.5 million kilometers gets that potentially hazardous tag we mentioned. They're mapping these orbits very precisely. It's kind of amazing the level of tracking. Did anyone actually get to see 2020 XR? Well, it wasn't visible to the naked eye, but ESA in the Virtual Telescope Project actually offered a live feed so people could watch it online as it passed. That's cool. A virtual window onto the space rock. Yeah, it's fascinating stuff. Seeing these celestial bodies move through the solar system, understanding their paths. It really highlights how much we've learned, how capable we are now of predicting these things. A cosmic neighborhood watch, almost. <laughs> uh, yeah, something like that. It's impressive. Well, it certainly makes you think about our place in the cosmos. A great look at Asteroid 2020 XR and its little precursor. Indeed. Thanks for joining this deep dive. And for everyone listening, stay tuned to the Vion podcast for more such intriguing stories to come.